got low there. branches. Whether you're up to snow. This one does. Oh, yeah. Does it go up like that? Yeah. Really that big oh, you got to get a picture. Yeah. I know. Yeah, I find that it's good to do some bad
sign language. We're going to do it in French. We're going to do it in Italian. We're going to do it in Vermont. Vermont. <laughs> and we're going to do it in Nepali. How's that for a wide diversity of languages? Isn't that cool? So, You'll do it for, okay, we've got Irish. Is that Celtic or Gaelic or Irish? Irish. Irish. Yes. I'm so happy to hear that. And we'll finish it off with a whistle. My name is Lynn Wild. I'm on the, Amer on the American tree board. I'm on the Montpelier tree board. And I want to welcome all of you to our fourth festival of trees. This festival. <laughs> which started in Israel, oh, maybe 3,000, 4,000 years ago. Nova. Hi. <laughs> so it started about 3,000 years ago, and it started as a thing to just collect taxes on trees. But as time went on, people realized that if we're going to notice what trees are flowering at the same time every year, why don't we celebrate them? Because the trees are really special. And trees are really special. And, and we're going to see a film in a few minutes that really addresses just how special they are. And it's really interesting about the kind of people that are drawn to trees. And I want to thank a number of special people that have helped us be here today. First of all, he's not with us today, but his spirit is here, John Snell. John Snell's work is on the wall. He's taken a lot of the rock photographs. He assembled some of the identification uh, boards over here and a lot of other things. John Snell is the chair of our tree board. He's been the chair 20 years? 24. 24 years. And uh, if you are a member of the Montpelier tree board, can you kind of step out so people can see you? So Abby, Jeff. John, Janet, Janet, who else? Steve Bailey, you're not, you're being too shy. Okay, who else is here that's on the tree board? Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. All right, and then we have our amazing tree warden. Did you all know that Montpelier has a warden for trees? That would be Jeff Byer. Oh, yeah. and, and just his amazing sidekick. Kim to Lucky Bottom. All right, the other group that we'd like to thank today is the AmeriCorps members because they make up a lot of our volunteers today. So if you're an AmeriCorps member, can you step forward? And I would like to thank the people who've come to share their knowledge with us today. We have, starting in this corner, we have Sean from Friends of the Winooski. We have Joseph, who is here to speak about the crazy snake words. We have Cassandra Hemingway, who is here with Central Vermont Solid Waste Management District. She's going to help answer questions about how to take food scraps and make nourishing soil to feed your trees. We have the raffle table, and there are some really beautiful prizes back there. We have Ruth Coppersmith. I know you so well, my mind just went We have Ruth Coppersmith who's talking uh, to you about the Festival of Trees from the Jewish uh, uh, calendar. We have, I'm a sneaky pest person back there. Where's Joanne Garden? Where's Joanne? I'm right here. Oh, Joanne Garden is here, here with us from the Urban and Community Forest Tree Program. And so she is with our own board member, John Akulajak, and he has uh, developed a plan for us to deal with the Emerald Ash Board here in Central Vermont. We have Orca here with us filming, and behind the camera back there is David Eric, and he is just being really nice and quiet. He, nobody even knew he was here until I said something. And then we have uh, tree identification here. We have um, our amazing door prizes. So that's what we have out here. Now, as you came in, how many of you saw the sign? Raise your hand. How many of you saw the sign that said, Welcome to Montpelier's Tree Imaginarium? Mm -hmm. All right. 
After we're through and we have Kay can sing birthday songs, we're going to imagine what it's like to be a tree. And Abby's going to call out things like, she's going to call out, imagine you're a tree and there's a porcupine climbing up. How are you going to act? Imagine you're a tree and there's a woodpecker pecking on you, building a nest. How are you going to act? So we'll do that later. Okay, but this is the tree imaginarium, and really what I'd like you all to think about, two things. If trees could talk to you, what would they tell you? What would they say to you today? What would they say to you this year? What are they thinking? Just imagine yourself a tree. Your favorite tree, what would your tree say to you? And before you leave today, if you could tell us how you would speak for the trees, and the signs up on the door before you leave, you can go out and write it down on a post-it note. How you would speak to the truth. Because really and truly, and this is what this film is going to show you, this film we're about to see is called Taking Root. It's the story of Wangari Maathai. Wangari Maathai it has a message. She is a model, and she is a mentor for all of us. And she will show you how trees... That's right! How did they know? She will show us how trees are part of the life support system on Earth that is so intrinsic to our survival and to our well-being. And so she's going to be talking to you, and we're just going to go to, through a little bit of this film. We're not taking you through the whole thing because it's quite long. But if you really like what you see today, you can come to Kellogg Hubbard in May, and we'll show you the whole film. It is an amazing story. This is a woman who, with other women, planted 34 million trees in the trees the most common trees in the world. And changed the world there. So you're going to get to see that. And, and I don't want to tell you too much more about it. But how many of you, if this is your first time in this building? Welcome. Thank you for coming. We're so glad you could be here. Everyone, thank you, children. Thank you, parents. All right. Shall we? I grew up in the countryside, and as a small young girl, there was a huge tree that was near our homestead. And next to our tree was a stream. My mother told me to not collect firewood from the fig tree by the stream. I said, why? And she said, because that tree is a tree of God. I didn't know what she was talking about. But I would run there and collect water for my mother. The streams actually came out of the ground, gushing up from the belly of the earth. Now sometimes there would be thousands upon thousands of frogs. They are in black, they are brown, they are white, they're beautiful. I didn't know they were frog eggs. I would just see these beads and I would put my little hands underneath and try to lift them in the belief that I could put them around my neck and decorate myself. And I would spend hours trying to lift them up. Here I am, and I am so small, and I'm playing with frog eggs and tadpoles. Between the fig tree and the stream, it was beautiful. Let's get started. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Rook play. Rook play. Rook play. Rook play. Rook play. Rook play. John Woody.